Johnny from CaptureWellbeing.com and today I'd like to talk about stopping people pleasing habits. The reason this is very important and close to my heart, this specific topic, is because for years and years I suffered from the syndrome of you know, trying to please others, trying to get other people's approval. You know, and in the end it's something that will drain you out, it will make you feel numb will make you feel unfulfilled and basically you become alienated of your own wants and desires and you know that's a <laughs> that's a not a nice situation to be in so it's, it's very important to to live according to what you truly want to do in life and and give yourself that love and approval that you deserve you know and stop chasing it from the outside because the truth is, you can't please everybody. You can't be such a nice person that everybody likes you. It's just not gonna happen, you know? And, and the more you try to be that way, the more inauthentic you will become, you know? Uh, it's uh, really like a prison in a way to be in. But there are ways out of that prison, you know, that people pleasing suffocation. There's a way out. And the way out is to, to learn how to really, really be comfortable in, com in confrontation, for example. That you're not afraid to you know, confront people, say things directly. Uh, say what you really think, what you really feel. And don't be afraid of upsetting anyone. Speak your truth always. You know? And it feels very, very liberating when you just speak your truth. You know, what, any, what anybody else feels about it is their business, it's not even your business. You know, and you can just, as long as you have, you know, the genuine, it comes from a genuine place when you're expressing, that you're not going after somebody out of resentment or, you know, trying to, you know, manipulate them or something, that you genuinely speaking the truth, it's always okay. You know, it's always okay to speak your truth. And the more you do it, the more comfortable and natural it will become. You know, and uh, I think in this time and age, you know, it's, 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 it's a vital way to live that you speak your truth. You honor your truth, you love your truth, and you're not afraid to express your truth. And if you've been, you know, stuck in people-pleasing habits for a long time, uh, it takes a bit of practice, you know, because uh, if you're a people-pleaser, you, you tend to have these programs in your mind, you know, running subconsciously that you're always worried, oh, how will somebody else react if you say this? And then you, you give an answer that you think will please, you know, other people and won't upset them. You know, but it's okay to upset people. It's very okay. You know. If somebody is upset, so what? So what if they're upset? You know, learn to embrace the fact that you know people feel all kinds of emotions, and it's okay. People feel anger. They feel, they get frustrated. They get annoyed. Those are all okay emotions. And it's not your fault if they feel that way. And uh, if you're like me, that you've lived in um, in the fear of upsetting other people, you know, it is so liberating to to start speaking your truth authentically, just not giving a shit about what anybody thinks of you. Just live your life. It's very, very liberating. You know, and I myself have been working on it a lot and I can tell you I feel amazing when I stop this need to be nice to others all the time. I, I mean, it's, it's good to be nice, but it has to be a genuine, you know, thing. You can't... The thing about people pleasing is you're always trying to get something from other people and that's either validation, approval, you know, trying to get people to like you and that's... In a way, you're manipulating other people. You're trying to get something from them. 
you know, instead of just living genuinely to who you are. And that's a big difference, you know, being, you know, a loving human being, genuinely, in a powerful, strong way from your inner being, being truthful to your inner being, and just being a, a puppet who, who is there to, you know, you're not even there, kind of, you don't show up if you're a people pleaser. So I'm here to, yeah, warn you of the disease to please and to tell you that there's a way out of that. You can be liberated from it. And it's okay. Everything is always okay. Uh, but I do encourage you that there is another way to live if you've been stuck in people-pleasing habits. So with this message, I want to wish you a wonderful day and week and I will post links in the comments below to the books that I recommend uh, which will help you to start overcoming people-pleasing habits and living your own truth. Have a lovely week. Take care.